Hey, this is Jeff, and I'm here to demonstrate how I did a, uh, or made a time-lapse panning device uh, using a, uh, a clock mechanism for a GoPro camera. Um, I'd seen some devices before that uh, use a uh, kitchen timer, but those go 360 degrees in an hour. I needed something that would pan a little slower. Uh, but at a steady rate and so what I came up with, my idea, uh, was a clock mechanism. Uh, basically I needed something that would go slow so if in six hours time you can pan 360 degrees or 180 degrees and in, in three hours you can go 90 degrees and so on. Um, so basically what I came up with is I, uh, um, I've already got one put together here. This is a one and a quarter inch uh, diameter washer with a 5 16 hole. Uh, I found a grommet that I could insert in the middle. Um, and basically this goes over the, the white or the plastic portion of the clock mechanism. And so that is a tight fit, tight seal right there. And so that allows it, um, it you know, grabs hold so it spins with the hour as the hours pass. And so um, I needed to have a spacer between the, uh, the hour mechanism or the hour post and the minute second post. And so I found a, a nylon washer and um, basically glued that using this Gorilla Glue, that's why I have this here, uh, to the washer, um, centered it up as best I could and then affix that, I let it dry, this is the quick drying, um, took about an hour or so, and then I fixed that to just a, a mounting bracket that came with the GoPro, and so just stuck that right directly to the, the foam sticky part. And so with all this uh, put together, uh, so you want this level, level as can be, and so then just take that, uh, the, the rubber grommet, and put it into the plastic portion of the, the clock mechanism. And then I use the clock mechanism itself um, as a base. And so, you know, it's, it's level. It, it will spin, you know, 180 degrees in six hours. Um, and it works really well. I used it today. And, um, the link on the bottom of this video is for that um, uh, that time lapse that I did today in Anchorage. So um, I also bought a couple more pieces of equipment um, in case I wanted to mount it on a tripod. I got this about two and a half foot long piece of metal strip with the holes in it, um, and I have these two pieces that came with the the clock mechanism. Um, it's got a rubber washer goes over the top like that. Um, I bought these two smaller washers. I, um, I believe these are quarter inch um, holes. And then this can go over the top. And then this next washer can go on. And then um, I put the threaded nut that came with the clock. And I just screw this down tight. Now, um, of course, I'm going to cut this strip down or the strap down to size maybe six or eight inches um, just enough so I can you know mount it on a tripod and get it tight um, and then that way if you're on uneven ground or you're out somewhere where you don't have a level surface uh, then you don't have to worry about using the clock mechanism base um, as a level so then that uh, fits like that and then again this just goes on top and I found if I twist this a little bit, it gets a nice seat on there. Uh, what I did notice is that the clock, if, it, if it's leaning, it tends to bounce because of that um, rubber grommet. But if it's level, it will stay level. Um, I haven't tried it in wind, so I don't know how that's going to work out. Um, but you know, just do some experimentation and see what you come up with. And I will post some more time-lapse videos to come. So, hope it works for you. Happy time-lapse.